welcome to our series of films showing how we can see physics at work in the atmosphere. Brought to you by the Royal Meteorological Society, Imperial College London and the Institute of Physics Environmental Physics Group. In this film, we're going to show you the greenhouse effect in action. Greenhouse gas molecules such as water vapour, carbon dioxide and methane absorb some wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation, but not others. Some wavelengths, such as much of the sun's light, can pass through the atmosphere. Other wavelengths are absorbed. For this experiment, we will be using the infrared camera along with two balloons filled with different gases. Both of these balloons are almost transparent in the visible frequencies and also in the infrared frequencies that we will be using. The first balloon will be filled with normal air. To fill the balloon, I will be using a pump. If I were to fill the balloon with air from my lungs, it would contain high concentrations of water vapour and carbon dioxide, so it would not represent the normal air in the atmosphere. The second balloon contains pure carbon dioxide from this canister. You can buy these gold coloured canisters for soda machines which contain 100% pure carbon dioxide. We now have two balloons containing different gases. Leave the balloons for a few minutes so they have time to adjust to room temperature. When we look through the visible camera, you will be able to see me through both balloons. You can see me because the light I am reflecting can pass through the balloons to the camera. Now let's look through the balloons using the infrared camera. When I bring up the balloon that contains normal air, you can see that almost all the infrared radiation passes through the balloon and the gas to the camera. Some is stopped by the plastic of the balloon and the relatively small amount of greenhouse gas in the air. You can see me because the heat I am emitting can pass through the balloon. When I bring up the second balloon filled with pure carbon dioxide, you can see that far less infrared radiation passes through the balloon and the carbon dioxide gas reaching the camera. The image of my face in infrared almost completely disappears. I look colder. Of course, the balloon with air in is much more like our atmosphere than the balloon which is pure carbon dioxide. But this demonstration does let you see how greenhouse gases work. Carbon dioxide doesn't absorb all the infrared passing through it, but a certain proportion. When we use the carbon dioxide balloon versus the normal air balloon, you can see that the carbon dioxide balloon shows a significant reduction in infrared radiation reaching the camera. The sun is the external heat source for the Earth. If the Earth didn't have an atmosphere with naturally occurring greenhouse gases, it would be much colder than it is now. In fact, it would be nearly minus 18 degrees centigrade, 33 degrees colder than the average temperature of the Earth today. Greenhouse gases exist naturally in the air and absorb the infrared or heat energy coming up from the Earth in a process known as a greenhouse effect, re-emitting it down towards the Earth's surface. Greenhouse gases include water vapour, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. In the last couple of centuries, humans have increased the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, enhancing the greenhouse effect and leading to a greater amount of heat being absorbed by the atmosphere. The top of the Earth's atmosphere looks colder from space as less heat passes up through the atmosphere. There's compelling evidence that most of the recent climate change is caused by greenhouse gases which have been released into the atmosphere by humans. I hope you found this experiment helpful in understanding atmospheric physics. There are more simple experiments and demonstrations on our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe.